After the vehicle has had the rust removed, been washed, degreased, and washed again, put the vehicle on the lift with the doors and the hood and the trunk open so you don't have to lower the vehicle again to open the doors. This will save you time in the application process. Treat the hood first. Insert the short wand into the hood reinforcements and spray it towards the outside edge in all directions. Notice the wrist movement. This is done to shoot the product down the seam, which is the area most prone to corrosion. Apply outwards using every access point along the outer edge of the hood. For reference, the two small holes in the handle indicate the direction of spray. I'm going to insert the long wand as far as I can get it into the front panel. You can use your hand to feel on the panel to see if the wand's gone all the way in, or if you're getting stuck having troubles pushing it in, you can feel where it is and try to navigate it down to the bottom. The idea is to get as far down the panel as you can for maximum protection. I'm going to hook up the gun and fog the panel. Now I'm going to send the wand down the other direction and treat the front of the panel. After applying the driver's side wing, we're going to apply the passenger's side wing. It's important to apply the vehicle symmetrically after doing one side, doing the other, so that no sections are forgotten. For the remainder of this video, we're just going to show you how to apply one side and you can assume the same techniques apply to the other side. Treat the rear wing using the long wand through an existing opening in the longitudinal sill and or from inside the trunk. Fog out the rear wing much like you did the front wing. After the rear wings we come to the trunk or in this case we come to the hatchback. Now ideally there would be drains around the edge and we could treat it much like the hood and use the short wand. But in this case, we're going to have to use the long wand and come in through this grommet here. In many circumstances, two hands are needed to snake the long wand into a cavity. Simplify this task by disconnecting the wand from the gun, as I have done here. Do the same to the other side, and you're all done with the trunk. Before treating the doors, put all the windows up and lift the vehicle high enough to comfortably gain access to the underside of the doors. Alright, we've come to the doors. Now every door has several drains in it, but the location varies. On this one, it's hidden underneath the rubber flaps here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the short wand and aim it at the seam. And rock it up and back down, pull it out, switch directions, rock it up and back down. The whole time, aiming the product down the seam here. I'm going to do it again for the next hole. Now I'm going to switch directions to ensure a thorough application. And the final hole. While applying through the first and last hole, make sure to aim the product not only through the bottom seam, but the side seam too. Before treating the sills, lift the vehicle high enough to comfortably walk underneath it. The sills are relatively simple to treat as they typically have many rubber or plastic plugs in them. Simply pull a plug, snake the long wand in, and let it rip. Treat the underbody cavities much like the sills using the long wand. Pull plugs to access the cavities if necessary. A thorough application ensures maximum protection, so pay close attention to the details. The underbody cavities are typically long and narrow, and fog will billow out far away from the point of application. Don't assume that an area with fog coming out of it is fully protected. The most complete protection, the spray tip of the long wand must pass by the entire underbody cavity. There are often a number of steel members below the unibody, such as drivetrain supports, suspension pieces, and frame stiffeners, that also have cavities. Treat them using Waxo Professional 120-4 with either the long or the short wand. Hard wax can be applied with the HRS gun using the K2 wand as I'm doing here, or the HW98 gun. Now what you're going for is a nice, even application with smooth motion, just like you're using spray paint. Coat the entire underbody except the exhaust, heat shield, drivetrain, and brake rotors. 
In this demonstration, I have chosen not to treat the Union body pan as it is well sealed and not prone to rust on this vehicle. I have skipped it to save material and time, focusing my efforts on areas prone to corrosion, but many users prefer to do the complete application just to be sure.